just a small World War III news roundup video for you today. So first and foremost, yesterday there was a progression wipe in World War III, um, preparing themselves for the final tests of the progression system for the game, which means that open beta technically should be right around the corner, hopefully sooner rather than later. They also made a couple of changes in the game itself, and most notably, uh, they put the armor pack is now part of the equipment pack in your loadouts, so it both restores your equipment, so claymores, grenades, stuff like that, and your armor. They also added training, so you now have a combat tutorial and a movement tutorial, which is great for new players that'll be coming in once the open beta launches for World War III. Um, and they made a couple of other changes to vehicles and attachments and stuff like that, and there's now more customization options for your weapons in terms of cosmetic changes. Uh, which you can unlock a lot more of. They also made a lot of the animations much smoother. Um, so that is something that came to mind. The spawning animation is a lot smoother than it was before. Vehicle spawning, again, a lot smoother. Uh, so just a lot of optimization uh, across the board for the game. Now, moving on to a tweet that they just sent out today. So looking on their Twitter page here, we have a uh, message incoming decrypting, decrypting, error, manual decryption required. So if we listen to it real quick here. All right, so obviously that's Morse code. They have the Morse code translator here in the back, but I have old eyes and I can't see that. So I downloaded the video and uh, put it in Sony Vegas so I could see the audio line. And then I pulled up uh, a Morse code translator to see what it actually says. So if we pull up Sony Vegas here and then the Morse code translator and we put in the characters that you can see on screen right now. So all these uh, short dots and dashes, I'm not 100% sure on what the proper wording is for this. So if we put three dots, space, one dot, I'm just going to do this real quick. So sending, that should be a whole word. If I put my keyboard to the right language here. Sending map and then data, which would tease or uh, point to the fact that we will be seeing a new map shortly for World War III. Is it going to be with the launch of the open beta? Uh, so back in 2018 when the game initially launched, there was five maps and now we only have four. So are they reintroducing that map now into World War III? Are they bringing out a completely new map in the game? Don't know, but that is what the Morse code is uh, for that specific tweet. And uh, very happy to see that we're getting uh, another map. Not that the four maps are bad. I'm having still a ton of fun even though the map selection is limited, but more content is always welcome. And I'm just excited for the game to release in open beta to have more people uh, jump in because I know a lot of people are just waiting for the game to release free to play because they can't justify paying for it, um, considering that it will be free to play soon. And I can completely understand that. I had purchased it when it initially launched, so, you know, I just already had access to it, but I can understand people waiting for it to release as a free-to-play title and then seeing uh, if they want to put money into the game in the form of i would imagine there's going to be a battle pass or buying some cosmetics in the store so that is all the world war 3 news i have for all of you today so there will be another wipe before the open beta so right now it's 50 percent xp boost um so you level up faster to test out the progression system in its final form so to speak uh and then there'll be another wipe before the open beta uh, I would imagine we're probably going to get info on when that open beta date will be soon. If everything goes well, it'll be sooner rather than later. But anyways, that'll do it for today's World War 3 news roundup video. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Are you excited to see a new map for the game to launch in open beta? And yeah, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.